Now is the time, Portal Master. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Skylander Nuts Skylanders Trap Team Villain Review. Connor has joined me today to take a look at Dr. Crankcase. Are you ready for this, buddy? <laughs> you really liked Dr. Crankcase, didn't you? Uh, just a little. Why? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Well, he kind of looks like a spider, huh? He's got all that green goo. He's known for his green goo and his technical engineering, which was really, Chaos was a big fan of his. But nobody knows what he's a doctor of. Do you know what he's a doctor of? Demolishing? Demolishing? I don't know, maybe. He's not the healing kind of doctor, though. All right, well, let's get into the game. We are in level 12, Time Town. And in this level, you come down here and you see Da Pinci and he wants you to do something. You fight some enemies and then he wants you to pick one of those two things over there, those two horns. But if you come over to this edge and you fall down, you're going to find the quest at this diorama for Dr. Crankcase. And now Dr. Crankcase is one of these enemies where once you do his quest, there's something in this level, these dioramas, that you'll want to switch to Dr. Crankcase to do to unlock areas and to get into places that you otherwise couldn't get. And so he's a very important character for getting yeah. all the objects within this level. All right, buddy, go ahead and talk to him and we'll see what happens. Oh, hi there. These animated dioramas are fun. Wish Dr. Crankcase would come see. Yes. Maybe he'd make them for us Willikin. Would love to be a part of such fun. Part of Dr. Crankcase's legacy is to is his uh, green goo, which brings wooden things to life. So let's see what he can do for this guy. Dr. Crankcase. Doctor in the... Oh boy! So glad you come to see this happy diorama. Isn't it fun? Yeah, squirt. No, he didn't have to do anything. Now here he goes. Oh no! Ah! It exploded. It yep, but now you see it's a hidden area you can go in. So, Dr. Crankcase is now evolved. He's turned purple. Um, go ahead and go in there. I don't think there's anything in there. We probably did this one before. I don't know. Maybe there's... Let's shoot everything in there. Oops. So, what buttons to shoot? Oh, uh, probably, I don't know. His X button attack will spin Dr. Crankcase's legs and slide forward. So, you can cut away everything in there. There's got to be something in here, doesn't there? Well, you get, do get to see how much damage it does. Well, against boxes, not really. Huh. Uh, maybe there was a treasure, maybe there's nothing in here, but there are other dioramas like that throughout the level that will probably unlock some items of interest. Alright, well, switch off of Dr. Crankcase as he's about half gone. He seems to have a fairly average active span. Let's go find some enemies. But yeah, first... go do what Dr. The Pinchy here wants you to do. Oh, yeah. This hammer timing game. Remember this? There you go. Now you have to do the other one. There you go. Alright, let's... Dr. Crankcase is healed up. And now you got some enemies coming, so switch to them. Now the X button was that spin attack. See how it takes out those buzzer beaks. It's not a very long attack. Oh, you went right through them. Alright, not too bad. Kind of mediocre damage. Now his B button attack fires a goo blast. Try that out. Oh, there you go. Is it one press or are you holding it down? One press? What happens if you hold it? One more check. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's just a stream of goo. It does pretty significant damage though. It's not just a one hit. Nice to meet 
and it goes through guys, attacks the other guys. That's pretty good. And it can even spin. So look when I shoot it, look, boom, it just. Yeah, you can you can move it around a little bit. It doesn't last for super long. Um, now that he's evolved, each of those blasts will hit more often. So I guess that's a good thing. Go collect that experience and move on. What? His spin attack does increased damage and distance traveled now that he's evolved. Let's go find some enemies. Yep. Maybe. You've got, since he's a Doom Raider, you have one more attack to try out, and that's his Y button attack, his attack three. Uh, you press it to generate lightning from his fingertips. And now that he's evolved, it'll do more damage with an increased I don't know number which of way hits. To go, to you go in that. Yeah, just go in the arrow. You'll find some enemies soon enough, I think. Probably as soon as you land. Either that or you have a puzzle. Maybe another puzzle. What's over here? Hey, there's ah, a quest. Ah, another quest. Cal wants to do We're not quest. doing that quest right now. There we go. Which way do I go? This way? Yep. We'll probably go up. Hey, this is one of those. There's some enemies. Okay, so what do I do? Y button. Shoots electric electricity from his fingertips. Holds him still for a second, too. You might want to follow that up with the next button spin attack. It didn't do a whole lot of damage to those guys, but it did, paw, it did hold him still for a second. Oh, buddy, you missed your chance. Well, he isn't one of those fast scholars like I No, he's not very fast. That is true. So which of these attacks do you like the most so far? So far, I like that attack. It's you always like so the fast. Spinning one? It is pretty fast. It does help him move. You can use it here to get I just the for these barrels. level faster. Unless you... I, I can hold it, but it doesn't really do any longer stuff. Right. right. Now you got another timing puzzle. I did not know... I, I just wanted to skip them, not do the quest. No, you got you gotta get through the puzzles to get through the level. Uh oh, you missed. There you go. It reset if you miss, so don't miss. No pressure. Uh -huh. Piece of cake. Of course, you used Doctor Crane case, so now there. he's out of power. I'll just stand right here. Mm, Wait for keep him to going. Reach. I don't see enemies in there yet. I could be wrong. Yep. Once you jump across, though, you'll hit. You'll have enemies. So one last bout of enemies. Which attacks are you gonna go for, buddy? I'm just gonna try the Y and B. I'm gonna try the Y and B. All right. So you're gonna hit them with some lightning, and then while they're frozen, you're gonna blast them with some goo. Probably. That sounds like a pretty good idea, buddy. Because that goo will finish him off. I'll wait right beneath this. He'll tell you done. when he's ready. You ready? He's going to tell you. All right. Go for it. Switch. B, Y. No, y. y, B. You want to do Y, B. Y, B. Y. B. y. It just takes time to use buzzer B. Well, these guys are kind of easy, but... Watch out. Move. Whoa. Some canyon thing. Yeah, canyon guy over there. He'll come down probably. Oh, see, look, there's one of those dioramas. You can use Dr. Crankcase maybe, I think, to uh, unlock that area. Do your, do your X button attack again. There you go. Knock him, it knocks him away. Uh oh. Hey, go, don't go over there. Don't go over there. Go into that diorama. Because only crankcase can do that. See what's in there. I don't know if we've done that before. So he squirts it. And then, whoa, look at that. Opens a new area. Tired clock storage. I'm going to smash up these things. Yep. Maybe we did do this one. Or maybe it's just an area. 
Yeah, you gotta get to get in these if you want to get to all areas found. Yep. We may have done some of those before. I kind of don't think we did them all yet, but. There's two cross crows up there. Let's get. You're it. almost done. Use your best attacks. Doctor Crankcase is going away. Always building powerful too. There. there you go. A B button attack, pretty good. There you go. Crankcase is all about that. All right, buddy. So what do you think about Dr. Crankcase? Awesome. You like him? He's not bad. His spin attack there helps him move faster. Damages some people as he goes through. Does pretty mediocre damage. Same thing with the Goo Blast. That does hmm, slightly average damage, but it does it to multiple people multiple times, it seemed like. So that was pretty good. And then, I don't know, the Y button and electric fingertips, that didn't really excite me much. It did only s small damage. It froze the bigger guys for a little bit, but those smaller guys just kind of fried. But I don't know, we didn't didn't seem to want to use that one much. The Goo Blast was a lot more kind of the same thing. Didn't freeze guys, but it did more damage. So definitely got you through those last cross codes in a hurry, that Goo Blast. So not too bad. His uh, active time was pretty average there. You, st you got to do quite a bit. Maybe it was a little bit above average. You got to do quite a bit on that last run through those enemies. So, um, yeah, I'd probably recommend people try them out, mm -hmm. you think? Yep. You're going to use them again, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll use them again. All right, so that'll do it for Dr. Crankcase. You can visit our website at skylandernuts.com to get a full review. Um... We got contests going on every month, so you know, check our YouTube channel out and see what our free giveaway for the month is. Uh, subscribe to get those updates when we post new videos, new reviews, some gameplay. We'll be doing uh, superchargers here in a couple couple weeks, I think. So, you know, that's coming up soon, real quick. We gotta yep. get the rest of these Doom Raider reviews done. They may leak into the time after superchargers comes out, but we'll try to get them up as soon as possible. So. Because when the Super Church just comes out, eek, we'll have to do this, play some more, this, play some more. Like, That's that right. We'll be doing a lot of gameplay videos again, going through the levels for Superchargers. So, all right, until next time, when we come back with another Skylanders villain review or character review, this is Mike and Connor with SkylanderNuts.com saying keep having fun playing Trap Team and uh, just, you know, hold on until Superchargers comes out. Yeah. We'll be back soon. Bye. Bye.